Hi everyone, it's all welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a lovely Friday. Today's video is going to be a summer get ready with me using all budget friendly products. So if you want to see what I'm using in my summer makeup routine, let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing, I've already moisturised my face off camera, so I'm going to go straight on with my BB cream. In summer, I don't I don't go for a full foundation because I have a feeling it'll be sticky and clammy, especially with the weather that might be coming to my area in the coming days. So in replacement of a foundation, I'm using this. This is the Kiko Daily Baby Protection Cream in the shade. I went the next shade in 02 Porcelain because I have developed a little bit of a fake tan. It's a mild tan, so hopefully the next... I mean, I have used this before and I know that, and I'm confident that this will be a suitable match for the rest of my... the colour of the rest of my body. So I'm just putting this on my problem areas because... I'm, fortunate, I'm very fortunate that I don't need to wear a lot of foundation or a lot of makeup in general so I'm just using this cream just to balance out my skin because I want to start going back to the phase of where I didn't need to wear a lot of makeup and I just wore a little bit just to cover up any problem areas. I always forget my nose whenever I do my makeup so make sure to get your nose. Now I'm going to take a little bit underneath my eyes just to hide any tiredness I might have. And I can also top it up with the colour wheel later if need be. So from doing, from doing this in my viewfinder this looks a really nice coverage as well. Especially for a light product like a BB cream. So that is my foundation that's done. I'm going to next going to go on to bronzer. And this is another Kiko one. This is my favourite out of the festival. Glow Bake Bronzer in the shade Burn Sienna. I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush. I actually use my hands for to do my foundation with because when you use your hands, you've got more control of how much product is going on your face. And it gives a nice soft finish as well. So, because when you use a brush, I mean, when I've used a brush, it has just left a really chalky coverage. And then just whenever I use it, whenever I use a brush to put my foundation on it just looks like I put it on with a trowel and how appropriate this is because it is peak gardening season because we've got the nice weather outside so it's not like I'm just getting my foundation and then just going and then just popping it on with a trowel and then your job here is done now you can apply as little or as much as you want I'm just Building it up just to create a mild sun kiss glow. I mean, I can also use the Rimmel Radiance Brick, but I had a feeling that might be a little bit warm for the look I'm going for today. So this is just a mild baked bronzing powder. Now, this is totally optional. I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to go find that. So I go in with a little bit of my Revolution not my type highlighter i will be right back okay so here is the highlighter this is the revolution reloaded highlighter i'm just going to do a light sweep of this up my cheeks just to give you a subtle glow i mean i'm only going out for i'm only going out for a walk before i like, get lunch so i don't want to go for anything too overboard Okay, now that is my face is all done, I'm now going to move on to eyes. For my eye makeup today, I thought I would come back to this palette that I've not used in a long time, and this is the Undress from MUA. This one was, I think I remember using this when I was at school. It's such a long time since I last used this eyeshadow palette. I did have I did have this one, but I since used it up because I loved it so much when I was in the final years of school, so I thought I would bring that one back and then I just thought I would create a neutral eye colour because I am going to be wearing a bright lip with this look so the colour I'm going to be taking here is the colour I'm going to go with this shimmery champagne colour here called Rose Ash I'm just going to be applying this on my lid oh I've missed the pigmentation of this eyeshadow you're definitely getting what you pay for in super drug I mean, it is also available on Amazon, but this, but I did get this one from Superdrug, so you are definitely getting something that's suitable on a budget. It's a dupe for the Naked 2 by Urban Decay as well, so if you can get your hands on this one, I would highly recommend you do because you do see yourself quite a bit of money compared to what the Urban Decay one 
is I'm now going to take the next sheet along which is called Fawn I'm just going to do I'm only going to do a light wash of this in my crease so so I'm keeping this fairly neutral and plus I have an interview on I have an interview on Tuesday so I'm just getting some practice in the doing some neutral neutral makeup looks because the interview that I'm going for is I'm confident that you're quite strict on makeup colour but I'm not going to, I could always substitute the lipstick for a more neutral one so it looks like I've got more of a fresh face. And then using my finger, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that shimmery shade just to make it more pink, yeah. Is that even a word? Making it more pink, yeah. I'm just going to, and then with a small brush, I'm taking that same colour underneath my eye. Just to wake myself up a bit. Okay, that's my eye makeup done. I absolutely love this palette. I'm so happy that I've brought this back. So many memories with this eyeshadow of getting ready in the morning. For my mascara now, and this is my all-time favourite, and I'm sure you guys have seen this 50 million times before, and it is the Waterproof Scandal Eyes, which I believe I'm running out of, and this is the Rimmel Waterproof Mascara. I do have other mascaras, but I feel like the soon will be the time to replace this because it is literally on its last legs. I mean... Before they got me, before I got ready to film, I had to like really do that with the brush to make sure I got a good amount of product on there. And hopefully this will be the this will last me through the day. I do plan on going shopping soon, so I'll need to remind myself to put one of these on my list for then. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. I know it doesn't look very much, but it's just a nice neutral colour and it's like perfect for this time of year where you don't want to wear a lot of makeup and then and it's just an easy one that can easily be took from day to night because you've got the waterproof mascara that will definitely give you the impression that you are wearing false eyelashes and you can also add some individual ones. It's totally up to you, but I'm just going to be leaving this look as it is. Okay, now the last little bit we need to do is lift. So I'm going to look for my Kiko wherever you've gone my Kiko lip liner in the shade so I've just spent the last five minutes looking for my lip liner and it was on my drawers I didn't need to have a look for it and I didn't need to stop the camera for to like have a good old rummage anyway so now I've found it the one that I'm using today is another Kiko one this is the smart creamy colour comfort lip liner this is in the shade 302 and I'm going to do a full Overdraw the lip and then I'm going to be feather it in a little bit before I put on the lip balm. Okay, so that's all my lip filled in and the last one that I'm using is the creamy lip gloss this is in the shade 107 magenta i absolutely love this color so much a full review is available on my channel so be sure to check it out if you wish And there you have it guys, that is my full summer makeup look for 2023. I do plan on doing a summer evening glow with this palette as well. I absolutely love this palette. I'm so happy I brought this back. There's so many memories of wearing this to school and in the early days of my first year of college. So I thought I would do a, a get ready with me with some of them being old favourites as well. I do plan on doing an, a video full, like a, a full makeup get ready with me using only old favourites. So... Keep your eyes peeled in the coming days for you. Get ready with me using some of my favourite old 
products that I had from when I was growing up and what I enjoyed using when I started wearing makeup. Be sure to hit the bell down below, comment and subscribe and I will see you all very soon for another video. Thanks for watching.